What's up, beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With The Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. What's up, beautiful people? In this video, I'll be showing you how to put together a Joy Star Kids bike. It's for my son, so I'm excited about it because we also have a Joy Star Girl bike that we purchased for our daughter. And so this one's going to be fun. Here's the box for it. And make sure you stay tuned so you can see all that you need to do, all that you will do, and all to succeed. Let's go! All right, we have the Amazon box that it came in and I was pleased to see that there was a box inside of a box And as you can see, it's the Joy Star bike. Okay, very great bike I'll put a link below for this as well just to let you know But what I like to do is take everything out of the box clean the bike oh, Excuse me clean the bike of all of the different wrappers and things like that that was protecting it as it was being shipped And so I like to make sure I have all the parts which they do recommend you do Check to see that you have all the parts before you get started. I mean, I don't know. It's not like you can go to the store. But anyway, safety's first. So make sure you have everything that is necessary to complete the bike assembly, okay? And so what they do recommend is you start off with the front wheel, um, which, you know, it, it, it has its pros and its cons. And also, let me know in the comment section below if I have the bike the right way. I was a little questionable about the placement of the front wheel. I think I might have it backwards. So let me know if you think so as well. And so, like I said, they have it there. And then what they do recommend is once you, as you can see, I'm trying to figure it out, but there's like a little piece I do want to say that has a little hook and you'll see when you assemble the bike, but you want to make sure that hook piece is within the hole on the brace of the bike, okay? And if you're not looking at the bike, you may not understand what I'm saying, but once you physically see the bike in front of you, you'll know which piece I'm talking about. And so you'll have that piece with the hook into the hole like a washer, and then you'll have the nut that goes on the outside. And so that's how you secure the front wheel to the brace um, itself that, you know, is a part of the bike. And so from there you do the handlebars, which is pretty cool the way it's set up. Uh, you loosen the bottom, and then once you have it where you want it in the hole, then you, you know, you'll tighten it along the middle area. And then you have little four little, uh, we'll call them screws, that you have to loosen up so that the handlebar itself does um, come up, as you just saw. And so, you know, then you just tighten it down, which is a part of the tool assembly packet that comes along with the bike. So pretty much you have what you need within the set itself. I'll show you later on where I had to use an extra tool outside of the box, but nonetheless, you just go ahead and tighten it so that it's nice and secure. And then from there, it was recommending me do other things, but I just went on ahead and transitioned to the, um, what's those things called? Yes, it's training wheels. And so I did that because I wanted a stable bike and I have to like hold the bike on me or brace the bike or anything like that. And so I, what I do wanna say is there's gonna be a silver piece that is on the outside of the training wheel itself, but make sure it's there um, before you put the training wheel on, okay? It's a, it's a rectangular piece, which you'll see that as well, and you'll be good to go. And so then you put the seat on um, make sure that's nice and tight and then you put the what are those things called pedals <laughs> the pedals on and you'll see as I was pointing that there's a R for right and an L for left and the R for right is green and so it's green on both the pedal and the side of the bike where it should go on and so shall and so will the L B and the red the red is for L but nonetheless that's how that's set up and you just screw it in and then you could tighten it with the tool that comes along with the bike itself so now we're pretty much done and then here's where I had to use a screwdriver from uh, the toolbox and so this is just to put the reflector piece on which Ricky really won't be driving or riding in the night but for the one time or the one case that he does, I do want to make sure safety is there. And so I put the red in the back and I put the uh, white one or the clear one in the front. And I wasn't able to like put it like horizontal. It was like vertical. But nonetheless, I was like, hey, it has to go there. If you can figure out a way to do a horizontal, please let me know uh, or let us know in the comment section. 
Um, but outside of that, it, it was there. And then there was a little bell piece as well that I needed the screwdriver for that I was able to use because Ricky does like to make noises. And so he'll have a bell that he'll be able to ding, 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 ding. Or, you know, Ricky be saying, excuse me and all kind of stuff. But anyway, you know, now cleaning up everything and those little black pieces that you see, well, before I did that, I went on ahead and tightened everything because I wasn't able to tighten it in the beginning. But for some way, some reason, I was able to tighten it at the end. So I made sure everything was nice and tight. And then I put the black pieces back on just to keep everything safe. Don't want the kids like rubbing the lug nuts or anything like that and scraping them, scratching them, anything like that. And so you have those black supportive pieces, protective pieces to keep them nice and safe. And you gotta do a little test, right? <laughs> all right, great people. So we have assembled the boys' bike. It is all done. All tools needed were in the box. We even have some letters that we were able to put on here to spell his name, Ricky. And then we also have a helmet for him as well. Of course, we know safety is first. We have his training wheels on. The bike looks spectacular. Now, that piece, if I should have done it better, please let me know in the comment sections below and I'll make the necessary adjustment. As you can see, we are aligned with our handlebars and everything like that. And it's a back braking or, you know, push the pedal backwards to break the bike type of bike. So there is no handlebar brake um, at the top or anything like that. But we are good to go. Like, look at it, y'all. He is going to be officially ready to ride his bike with his sister, okay? So I know he's going to be excited. I know she's going to be excited. All we have to do is add some air to the tire, and they will be good to go and flow together. So here's how to put it together. Shout out to Joystar for this awesome, awesome bike. Like I said, we have one for rain over here. I can throw that tricycle away. We no longer need that because he has his own bike now. So he is officially ready to hit it, hit it, and get it. So be sure to subscribe and click the bell notification so that you can see Ricky take his first ride on his Joystar bike because I'm sure and I know it's going to be an awesome, awesome, awesome bike ride. It'll be his first bike ride, so <laughs> might as well do it with him. Love you all. I appreciate y'all. See you next time. Peace. Oh, oh, oh.